Hello YouTube and welcome to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to set up a weather system in your game courtesy of MOG plugins. If you haven't got the plugins already please see the link in, in the description the link will be there so you can go ahead and download them and when you've downloaded them it'll look like this RPG Maker MV weather plugin right click and extract it so we'll extract the same folder then you'll have the folder wherever it is it's hiding from me here it is and double click on that and what you want to do is right click on weather copy the whole folder and place it in your images folder in your project so my project is RPG Maker Tutorials. We'll go to Images and we'll place it there. And inside the weather thing, you've got all these different weather effects. You, the names are important because we're going to be referring to those later on. Then go to your JS folder, your plugins, JavaScript. And then place in, right click and copy and paste in the Mog Weather EX. Then back in our RPG Maker, go to your plugin manager and make sure it's at the bottom of your plugin list, especially below Yam Fly plugins. Click on here and click Mog Weather. Battle Weather is only one rule parameter here. If you've got Battle Weather, if it's on true, that means the weather will appear in battles when you're in a battle. If you don't want, to, if you don't want it on, if you don't want the weather to be enabled during the battle, click on that and turn it off. We'll have it on. The only downside to this plugin, it's all in Spanish, but you can work it out where it says weather ID. So you type in the word weather, followed by a number, you give it a specific number, so it can refer to it, so you can give it any number you want. But you have to type it in all lowercase, weather all lowercase, and give it a number, then space, then colon, space, then type. And the types are referred to in this list here, look, so zero would be wind one falling left side wind three zoom spark fire snow rain cloud and all the rest of it that's all you really need to know so you you type in weather then give it a number if you don't know what you're doing just highlight it all and copy and paste it type first this let's say like i just said so put in the right if you want snow you type in weather say zero or weather space one space colon space um but it freezing you'd have 11 and the power of the animation is how how much how much of it there is then speed of the animation so if it's snowing you, it, you don't want to set the values too high you can go into hundreds or thousands but a good speed a good power of say 10 or 20 and a good speed of like between 5 and 50 work best then blend type you've got two different blend types 0 and 1 Choose, if one seems a bit too translucent and you can't really see the texture try one if it's the way around try zero there's only two different blend types one and zero then the file name you have to copy and paste from here um when asking for the file name go into your weather folder in your plug uh in your RPG Maker folder and say you wanted this cloud here just click on it right click go to rename then press ctrl and c to copy it then you just paste it here and then it'll do this cloud. So if we were going to do that cloud, we'll copy and paste the name. Then we'll do something like weather space one space colon space um, 17. So we'd have strong cloud. Power say 10. Speed 5, power 15. Speed 10. Blend type 1. And copy and paste the file name in. Now it's all set up. I've already gone and created an event. It's what my event looks like. I've got on a loop. So what I did is I double clicked on here. Then it's tab two. Sorry, tab one. Click on the loop. That's a parallel. You want below characters and set on parallel. Then you want to create a control switch by clicking here. Clicking tab one. Control switches. Then create one called weather on. Click OK, make sure it's single weather on and set to on. We'll delete that because we've already got one up here. 
that's the very first thing that should after the loop that's the very first thing you should have on then you've got conditional branch so like I said double click on your space click on tab one with conditional branch leave check else branch off click on here and click on weather on equals on then you get that and that's basically what this is and it's your choice whether you want to you want to wait for the, the animate if you don't have a wait frame it will it'll start straight away i told it to wait for two seconds because it's 60 frames in a second and about 120 frames then i've done the plugin command as you can see that i've got weather all lowercase and space colon space i'll give it a unique id of number one because it's the first one 17 which is a strong wind and then power eight so how much of it there is and the speed of five the opacity on zero you can choose one if you want if it's not working properly on zero you can click on you can set to one then space and call and space then the file name of the actual image out of the weather category you want to use you can have any image in here just right click the name and so we've got cloud one a you can put any image in there just make sure it's scaled properly then you paste the name in there we've got cloud one a because we're having This one, Cloud 1A. Then we wait a bunch of frames. Then we've got plugin weather. Sorry, we do another weather one. Weather ID 2. And then that's a leaf. Then we wait a bunch of frames. Then we've got weather 3. Different power, different strength. Then we've got snow, then cloud. Then we've got wait 4 seconds. Then I've cleared the weather. You need that command. If you put... if if I was to um, if I didn't have this clear over, these two here, the top two, will still be playing as these two come in. So I put clear weather colon one because that's the ID for weather one. So it'll clear that. It'll stop doing that, and it'll clear weather two, which is this one. Is it here? Because I'll give this one a unique ID of two. Now I wait a bunch of frames. I play a rain sound effect when it when it starts cloudy and rain, and I wait. Then I clear the weather for three and four, which is. Uh, these two and it goes on then I, I do a few different weather effects and a few weight frames and sound effects then at the end of it I put a control switch down I click on weather on and I set the operation to off then I wait a, a few more frames till it starts over again then it'll start over again Basically, since it's a parallel process, this will be quite intensive. The reason I've got on switches, so it'll turn the switch, it'll, it'll activate all this, and when it gets to here, it will turn it off, but then it'll get to the end and turn it back on again, so the parallel process is not continually repeating every frame, otherwise it'll slow your computer down. So now if you do that, and we go play the game, Now if you play the game, wait for it, the lights come out, I don't know why the weather is not working, the weather doesn't seem to be working for some strange reason, let's go back and have a look what we did wrong. can't seem to suss out what's wrong with it make sure I've got everything set up properly yep plugin manager ah the plugin has not been installed so we got click on plugin manager click here I must not apply it so we click back on there Battle weather it click okay, click apply. Now we'll play it. 
get a second where we should come in. There you can see that the clouds just come in, it's got a bit of leaf. We've got the leaf in the clouds pen, now the lights will turn on. That was in a different tutorial, how to get the lights to turn on like that. Go watch the tutorial if you want to learn how to do that. And there you go, we can wait just a little bit. It'll clear these two weather events in a minute, it'll do some snow, then it'll do some rain after it's waited a bunch of frames. I'll just let it play out, we'll just watch it for a little minute or two. Let's expand the screen so you can see it better in detail what it's doing. And that's how to successfully add a dynamic weather system to your game. I won't bother waiting until the rain comes in, but I'll just show you the snow. We can do a little quest. And since it's on a timer, in another tutorial, I've got a time system tutorial. So if you're trying to get in the door, it says, Sorry, this door is now closed. Cause it's only open between the hours of 9 or 9.30 till 5 or 5.30 or something like that. Then we can gain access. But if we talk to her, it's now snowing, look. She says, hey there, say I really like flowers. If you could pick me three yellow roses, I'll give you 350 gold. We will help you. Thank you ever so much. I look forward to getting my flowers. If you get this flower, you pick the yellow rose and it disappears. If you get this flower, you pick the yellow rose. If you talk to her again, are you having trouble finding my flowers? I really want those roses. Please get them for me because I haven't got all three yet. I've got this, this is a tutorial I cover, how to create a quest, and this is a quest I did. We pick the yellow rose, we look at our item in the menu, it, this is a yellow rose, it has a certain smell that is very pleasant, and now we have three roses. So if we talk to her again, oh they're lovely, thank you ever so much for getting my flowers, as I promised you can now have your gold, and then it says the lady gave you 350 gold. If we talk to her again, these flowers you got for me are pretty. They are well worth the money. Thanks once again. If you check our menu, you've got now for anybody gold. So I'm just digressing. That's a, that's a different tutorial. That's a quest system tutorial. We'll just wait until the rain comes in. We should play a sound effect. Feel free to add, when it's windy in there, add, add wind effects sound effects to it so it sounds more believable because obviously snow doesn't make a sound when it falls if you've got a, if you've got rain if you're doing rain effect make sure you've got um, a loop in rain noise if you're doing stormy weather make sure you've got like a stormy sound otherwise it just seems it'll be a bit disorientating for the player if they haven't got sound effects to there you go i haven't don't know why the rain is not playing the sound i don't know why the sound effects not up uh, it's because I didn't install the the sound effect. But you get the point. It's just missing the um the org file for the rain alpha that I got. But I didn't put it in the the um sound effects audio, that's why it's crashed. But you get the point, make sure they're going in your right folder. And that's how successfully YouTube create a weather system if you've liked the video at all please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to support the channel please subscribe i'd really appreciate it helps keep me motivated to bring you make more great content like this until next time youtube take care of yourself stay safe be lucky this is bad apple gamer and i'm signing out Get ready.